In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 unsolved mysteries of evolution. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. I'm fine with the unknown that that's goal of science, physicist Brian Cox once declared. There are locations out there billions of locations about which we know nothing. I'm intrigued by the idea that we know little about them and am eager to learn more. That is what science is, too. So I think it's challenging to be a scientist if you're not at ease with the uncertainty. I don't require a response. I don't require solutions to every problem. I want to be able to research answers. What top riddles are keeping scientists so busy, then? These are the top 10. Number 10. Why is there more matter than antimatter? As far as particle physics is concerned, matter and antimatter are equal yet diametrically opposed. The majority of those annihilations should have taken place early in the history of the universe, and when they collide, they should completely obliterate one another and leave nothing behind. There was still enough material, though, to create the countless billions of galaxies, stars, planets, and other objects. Mesons, which are brief subatomic particles comprised of one quark and one antiquark, have a variety of interpretations. Since B mesons decay more slowly than anti B mesons, enough B mesons may have survived the interaction to produce all of the stuff in the universe. B and D and K mesons can also oscillate, changing from antiparticles to particles and back again. Mesons are more likely to assume the normal state, according to studies, which may also explain why regular particles outweigh antiparticles. Number 9. Where is all the lithium? Lithium, helium, and hydrogen isotopes were produced in large quantities at extremely high temperatures early in the history of the universe. Even though there is only approximately a third of the lithium-7 that we should see, hydrogen and helium are still extraordinarily abundant and account for almost all of the universe's mass. There are numerous theories as to why this might have occurred, some of which include hypothetical bosons called axions, while others contend that it is imprisoned in the center of stars, where our existing telescopes and tools are unable to detect it. To explain this lack of lithium in the universe, there are currently no definite front-runner explanations. Number 8. Why do we sleep? Although we are aware that a circadian clock puts people on a sleep-wake cycle, we don't completely understand why. We spend roughly a third of our lives sleeping, which is when our bodies repair tissues and carry out other maintenance tasks. Why do we need to sleep when other organisms don't? There are a few different theories out there, but none of them seem to provide a convincing response. Others who must stay more awake are able to rest and recover in different ways without entirely sleeping, according to some theories, while others who can sleep have evolved the capacity to conceal from predators. Even while they still don't fully understand why humans do it, scientists are beginning to understand its significance and how sleep affects vital processes like brain development. Number 7. How does gravity work? We all understand that the sun's gravity keeps our planet in orbit, the gravity of the earth holds us to the surface, and the gravity of the moon generates tides, but to what extent? Because matter generates this strong pull, heavier objects are better able to draw other items to them. Although they have a good understanding of how gravity works, scientists are still unsure of its purpose. Why is most of an atom's space empty? Why is gravity not the same as the force that holds atoms together? Is gravity a particle in reality? These are questions that, as far as we currently understand physics, we simply cannot answer. Number 6. Where is everyone? The sole indication of life anywhere is right here on Earth, 92 billion light-years across and comprised of billions of galaxies, stars, and planets. Given the statistically improbable low likelihood that we are the only organisms in the universe, why the hell haven't we made contact with anyone else yet? This is referred to as the Fermi Paradox, and there have been numerous theories put forth, some more tenable than others, to explain why we haven't found extraterrestrial life. We could probably debate the various hypotheses for days, including the unlikely ones that Earth is the only planet to have ever supported life, that we are simply missing signals, that they have already arrived and we were unaware of it, that they are unable to communicate with us, and that they have already done so. Number 5. What is dark matter made of? 
Dark matter makes up about 80% of the universe's mass. Since dark matter doesn't emit any light, it is a really strange substance. There is no concrete proof of its existence, despite the fact that it was initially theorized over 60 years ago. Many researchers think that dark matter is made up of weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, which may be up to 100 times more massive than a proton but don't easily interact with the baryonic matter that our detectors were made to detect. Axions, neutralinos, and photinos are other contenders for the components of dark matter. Number 4. How did life begin? Where did life on Earth come from? How did it take place? According to proponents of the primordial soup hypothesis, life eventually developed from increasingly complex molecules that formed on a nutrient-rich early Earth. This might have happened in clay, under ice, or in the deep ocean vents. The significance of volcanic activity or the presence of lightning for the spawn of life varies according to different hypotheses. Although DNA currently serves as the primary framework for life on Earth, RNA may have predominated the earliest life forms. Other scientists also query if nucleic acids other than RNA or DNA may have existed in the past. Does life have a history of creation, erasure, and reinvention, or did it only emerge once? Some people think that microbial life arrived on Earth via meteorites or comets, a theory known as panspermia. Even if that were the case, it still doesn't explain how that life came to be. Number 3. How do plate tectonics work? The idea that shifting continental plates may rearrange continents, cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even the formation of mountains, has only recently gained general acceptance. The idea that the continents may have once been joined together was first proposed around 1500, but it didn't really catch on until the 1960s when the theory of seafloor spreading in which rocks are pulled into the Earth's mantle, recycled, and then brought back to the surface as magma was supported by empirical data. However, it is unclear to scientists what causes this movement or precisely how plate borders were formed. Although there are many explanations, none of them fully explain this behavior. Number 2. How do animals migrate? The constantly shifting seasonal temperatures and the diminishing resources that go along with them force many animals and insects to migrate at various times throughout the year. Others travel in search of mates. Some of these migrations might cover a distance of thousands of kilometers in a single direction, hence, one might wonder how the animals manage to locate their destination and return to it year after year. Various species of animals make use of a wide variety of navigational aids, including some that are able to connect with the magnetic field of the Earth and utilize themselves as a kind of compass. However, scientists do not yet understand how this characteristic arose or how untrained animals are able to know exactly where to go from one season to the next. Number 1. What is dark energy? It's possible that of all the big questions that science can't answer, the one about dark energy is the most puzzling. Dark energy is a hypothetical kind of energy that is believed to make up around 70% of all content in the universe. This contrasts with dark matter, which is believed to account for approximately 80% of all mass. Even though it has been suggested that dark energy is the factor responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, there is still a great deal of uncertainty around the purported characteristics of this substance. In the first place, what exactly is it constructed out of? Is there a consistent amount of dark energy, or does it occasionally shift over the vastness of space? Why does it seem as though the density of dark energy is the same as the density of ordinary matter? Should Einstein's theory of gravity be re-examined in light of the discovery that dark energy may exist, or may it be compatible with the theory? What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.